Hi, welcome to BCH Technologies. Today we're troubleshooting a pair of uh, cartridge. Uh, the customer has a problem putting it in uh, TS3122, uh, uh, and uh, he said no matter how hard he tried, he cannot put it in after modify this. Here's the, the assembly for uh, for the model. So, so you put in this slot, and uh, you can see this thing rise, and you put it in. It is hard. Okay, now we replicate the problem. Let's take a closer look at this. So we can see there is a bottom notch. This will hold up. This will hold up the bottom of the cartridge. So when I slide the cartridge in, so it, that so it's all hold up with that uh, distance between here and here. So if you have excessive glue here, you will have a little bit of hard time to push it in. Another thing is because you remove the cover and you send it down a little bit, so this part is more important to be smooth. Let me just point it out again. So the distance is between here and here. So you basically you get a you need to get a smooth glide in. Okay. So you can see it. here's the glue, here's the glue. Oh, there's a big chunk here. It's a little bit smoother. Let's see. Yeah. Ah, smooth like silk. I feel nice it doesn't click. Sounds great. Yeah. Okay, let's try the black. Yeah, the black is pretty good. I'll just smooth a little bit. Okay, it seems the first problem solved. Since the customer already sent it in, let's point out the second potential problem is he put a sticker here which block out those breathing holes. So I'll, I'll peel the sticker off. Let's take a look. Look, there's no glue and then we're going to check. And then, uh, just be cautious, we check if the cartridge is leaking or not. So I'll check. Uh, I don't see any uh, gaps or air bubbles. So I supposedly sealed correctly. Okay, I'm, I'm going to blow a little bit of air from the breathing hole and going to increase the pressure here. If there's any air inside, and that if there's leaking, I can see it. Otherwise, the ink should come out from the bottom. That's looking good. So no leaking on the black. There's little tiny air bubbles, but I don't think it went through. So this should be sealed probably good. And uh, let me blow some in the blue. Or maybe I can just do it underwater. Oh, that's not good. You, did you see the air coming from the top? There you go. That was worse me as uh, I'm blowing the cyan, but the air bubble is from the Mangenda. So we need to take a closer look. 
So there may be something here. If there's something here, I might not be able to fix it. After further check, the customer didn't seal the middle T at all. So all three colors actually, they are not separated. If you put the ink in one chamber, it will go to another chamber. Let's try the yellow. Yellow is the same thing. I wonder if the center is glued or at all. Okay, we cut this open and uh, you can see there's no glue in the middle at all. So all the three colors will be mixed up. So we're going to regrind this and we're going to put a new cover on with a super glue. Uh, before we put the glue, we want to try the cover on a few times, make sure the cover fits. Let's start doing the T first, just in case we forgot it later. And then we do the borders. Then we fill the groove in the in the T with a, with a super glue. Make sure the center T is solid black. There's no air bubbles at all. Something wrong with the edge, you can fix it. But uh, in the middle, nothing you can do. Triple check the T um, because I'm a really paranoid person. Just make sure there's no bubbles. Making sure the cartridge is leveled when it dries, when it's drying. I use a little bit of super glue gel on the bottom right because there's a big chunk of uh, was took take, was taken off when I removed the cover. Uh, however, the rest of them are done by by super glue, super glue. There are two ways. You can blow the air uh, outside, then submerge it, or you can submerge it first and then blow air into it. Either way, pay attention where the air bubbles come from. Uh, most of the time, it coming from the bottom. That means good, so you don't have the air bubble coming from the edge of the cartridge. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. You can see the bottom right is now sealed. If I blow the cyan, and then you can see the bubble coming from a much deeper part. There's my agenda, yeah. My magenta is good. Watch it again. That bubble is from the printhead, not the edge. Okay, let me show you a quick fix for the leak. So we're using uh, we're using super glue, not the gel, just the super glue. Okay. Super glue is really really great to sip into the smaller openings and seal it. And uh, super glue gel cannot do this. Let me show you a trick how to make a super glue to set instantly. However, did you manage it? Why, with a little help from baking powder. Baking powder. Perfect. See all the bubbles coming from the bottom. Okay, let's see if it works. We we'll use the same machine as uh, this client uses, TS3112, uh, 22. Just make sure when you put it in, you don't just go horizontal, just like this. What you do is uh, uh, you want to go with angle, put it in, and then you push it up. And then we'll take it off the same way.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you and cheers.